How's it going guys? I am back again with another video. This time we're going to take a look at another one of the Loyal Subjects Best Action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Now just like the Krang that I reviewed on the channel, this is a 5 inch figure, but when I saw it I thought, you know what, I think this can work with my 118 fantasy stuff. So today we're going to take a look at Toka. <laughs> Okay, so here is the packaging for Toka, and I believe that's pronounced Toka. I am not familiar with this character. If I'm if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Um, I don't know much about it besides the turtles and Shredder, Krang, uh, Bebop, Rocksteady. I'm not a big turtle guy, um, but I do like the turtles. I did grow up with the cartoon. I do have a few of the comic books, but I'm not, you know, I'm more of a Star Wars, G.I. Joe type of guy. Um, but when I saw this figure, I, I immediately thought, you know, I think this can go with my fantasy stuff. Why not? It's just a big monster with some melee type weapons. Um, and I, it's funny as I found him at Target and he was also with, um, what what is the guy's name? Razor. But Razor looked a little bit because of his clothes, his outfit, he looked a little bit too comic booky. I didn't think I could use him. Um, or that he would fit at all, even if the scale was right, um, because of his outfit. Now, this guy took him over to the scanner, and I, th I told myself, you know, if it's 15 bucks or less, I'll get it. And I scanned it, and it was 18 bucks. Um, I, I just said, you know what, it's $3, I'm just going to get it. It's less than 20 so I grabbed it. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of vintage collections. Star Wars is like sixteen ninety nine now. Um most of you know most places that you find a vintage collection it's $16.99 now so this wasn't much more but it is much more plastic it is a much bigger figure um like the krang i i knew it does come with a card a collector card and it also comes with a sticker and you know being a kid of the 80s i do like cards and like to collect cards i could see the card there in the back and the sticker so it sort of added some value to me um personally I know some people probably just, they toss the card. It means nothing to them, um, but it means something to me and the sticker too. So all those, those things kind of played on my mind. It was only $3. It had the card uh, or $3 more, I should say, than what I wanted to spend. It had the card and it had the sticker. Um, so I grabbed it. Um, it does have some really cool box art here. It's a nice open box. You can see the figure. The figure looks pretty good. They only had one. Um, there's the limited edition sticker collector card um, open here on the side. You can see that big shell there in the back. And then here is the back 31 points of articulation. Comes with an extra set of hands and two weapons. Um, created after the Shredder unleashed mutagen at a zoo, Toka is an out of control alligator snapping turtle. After being captured by the mutant hunter Dirk Savage, he was rescued by his best friend, Razor. So that is the packaging, guys. All right. Let's rip him open and see if he's going to work for us. I think he is. Okay, here is the Loyal Subjects Best Action Toka figure. And I'll quickly show you the sticker that comes with it. The cool Best Action sticker. And here is the card of Toka. And it does have the same artwork that is on the side of the box. And on the back, it has a picture of the figure and the same bio um, that I read you um, earlier. So it's nice. It's a nice little card. I'll be putting that in my card collection. Nice little added bonuses that they throw in for you. All right, so here's Toka. He's pretty good. I've, I've only had him out for a few minutes, so I've just kind of been posing him around and trying to get the feel for him. I'm not used to um, figures this large 
And as I mentioned before, I did get the Krang, the best action loyal subjects Krang figure, but it's obviously, uh, he obviously wasn't uh, like this or this big. Um, and I do use the Krang in my sort of science fiction stuff, uh, fantasy, uh, but this guy's going to go in fantasy is what I was trying to say. So right away, I could tell, you know, it's a lot of plastic. He's, he's pretty heavy. Most of the weight is here in the back of the shell. And I noticed right away, because I, I kind of poked my fingers a couple times, these little spikes, they are actually not, not so much on the shield, except down the middle here, or the shield, the shell down the middle. But these ones on his shoulder and his knees are actually, you know, fairly uh, sharp. You know, not in the sense that they're, you're going to, you know, hurt yourself, but they're definitely not dull. Um, the ones on his toes are, are fairly dull and his nails are, you know, pretty normal. But these ones here and these on his knees are actually quite spiky. Um, let's go over, uh, let's go over his accessories really quick. So he does come with two other hands. All the hands are hinged. I'll go over the articulation next. Um, you got a pointing hand here and a sort of an open, uh, like gripping hand or grabbing hand. And then there's two weapons. I don't know the, the real name of these weapons. I usually just call them like melee weapons. Um, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty well done. They've got this sort of wooden handle here on both. And sort of a silverish gun metal um, on the knuckle guard and the blade part. And it does have a nice texture to it. A real metal type of, of texture. Let's see if that comes across. You can kind of see that there on the camera. And this too, and this is fairly spiky for a toy, uh, for an action figure. It also has like this sort of rope, a brown rope around the base. I think this is called a mace, right? A mace, I think. And nice wood texture in the handle of both. So cool little accessories. Um, definitely, you know, perfect for this guy. Um, let's go over articulation. So he does have a, um, a opening hinging jaw, which is pretty nice. It gets a little crazy if you open it too wide because you can kind of see through him. But if the head is down a little bit, it's nice having it open. And it does close, but it doesn't quite close all the way because of his teeth. So you can get a good opening, though. You can probably you know, have him holding up someone and biting him or something like that. Um, he does have a nice uh, hinge on his neck. You get a good up and down. You don't get any kind of a nod though. It's very, very slight, um, but it's, it's it's there. It's it's there a little bit. There you go. As I'm as I'm working it, it's getting better. Um, of course, he does get a side to side. He gets a good up and a little bit of a down. So that's nice though. The working jaw is pretty cool. Um, it's got a double hinged elbow. I mentioned he has hinged wrists. Um, he's got a butterfly joint in his shoulders, which is nice. Um, but it's a little limited because of, I think, his armor here on his shoulders. And that also limits him from going up too high. So if you want to, he's going to have to swing from 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 this way. Uh, and you're, you're not going to get a, a big, you know, swing the other way. does have a bicep swivel. Um, he has an ab crunch. But it's very slight, and you don't get much out of it. This chest piece is a separate piece. It does kind of peel away. Um, it must be attached somewhere here around the belt. The belt is not removable. It does kind of slide down here on certain parts on the edge here. But it feels like it's glued here or pinned in somewhere in the front, not on the sides or the back. Um, you can see all the detail in his shell. It's a nice tone of greens and yellows and browns, um, at least four different, because this, this yellow here is not the same as this one here. And he's got that same sort of yellow in his teeth and here on the spikes and his nails. Um, he does have a ball hinged hips. He can get a good split for such a big guy. He has a thigh swivel. He's got double hinged knees. And he does have a, a rocker ankle. Now, setting him up, you do have to get a pretty wide stance and turn the feet out 
kind of leaning forward because he is a bit back heavy because of his shell. All that weight is in the back of the shell there. So you're not going to get him, you know, standing str like a straight up. He's going to, oh, okay, now he's staying. You can see he kind of creeped over. Um, it was fairly hard to do that. He seems to stand better in a bit of a wide stance and crouch a little bit leaning forward. Um, pretty good figure though. I, I'm still, you know, I'm not used to holding a figure this big. Um, but I think the subject matter, you know, he's just a monster. Uh, besides, you know, I think like the Foot Clan, he's got something there, some some emblems here. Don't think it really signifies him as being, you know, in a contemporary type of world. He could definitely be used in fantasy stuff, which is why I got him. Um, and I think he's a fairly good deal, guys. Um, especially if you can get him. I think he usually uh, is about 20 bucks or more. I mentioned earlier I got him for 18 I think 18 is about right. Um, uh, you know, of course, cheaper would be better. 15 is probably perfect, but they, you know, they tend to be about 20 bucks. I got mine a little bit off of that. And I think it was a good deal for me. Great paint, great texture in the skin. Um, his eyes are painted straight, you know, on with my light here. Nice red eyes. Detail on the tongue. Got these little warts and, and sort of scratches and texture on his chest. It's got a lot of detail on it. I mean, you know, again, I'm not used to figures so big, but he's nice. You know, he's a nice figure. It's almost, I, I don't know, he reminds me of an old school 80s He-Man. He's right about that same size as a He-Man figure. Let's do a quick comparison here. A um, couple figures I'll, sh I'll compare them to that I've done reviews on and a couple I haven't. Here is the Acid Rain World Anubis. Anubis is great because for me, he's he could be a sci-fi character or he could be a fantasy character. Um, and this is a rather tall um, Acid Rain figure because of that extended head and neck. And you can see, I think they fit well together. Um, I should say too, you know, a uh, customizer he does have, I think because of the light tones of his um, his his sculpt, his paint, if a, someone could put a wash over him, like a little bit darker wash, it would make him look even more realistic and he'd fit in more um, to like, a, you know, a, a, a fantasy sort of world where he does, the colors are, because of the yellow, it is a little bit cartoony, but not that much. I think he's fine how he is, but I know a customizer or someone else would go, you know, a, a light wash on that, a little gray, a little, little charcoal, he'd look even better. And I think that's true. Um, here is a uh, DC Spin Master Batman figure. You can see, I think the scale is just right, guys. Um, here is, here's one that I haven't done on the channel. Here is the one of the Hyatt Toys uh, G.I. Joe's Snake Eyes that gun down you can see I think the scale is good whoops I think this is just right you know and I think if certain characters like I said I don't think Razor um, would have worked for me just because of his outfit and his colors um, he has like some blue and it was just a little bit too modern I think for me but Toka here I think it works just fine. Here is um, this uh, Chicken Fried Toys Dime Novel Legends, the modern Texas Ranger. Here's a Marvel Universe. This guy's, even for a Marvel Universe, this guy's pretty big. It's Cable. You can see Cable's a little bit bigger than even Anubis. So that scale, I think that scale's still really good. And lastly, here is the, uh, I just opened this guy. I'm not sure how I'm going to publish these videos, but there is a video of this guy. This is a Joy Toy World War II Russian soldier. His hat does not fit him very well. But you can drop it on there and you can see. I think this guy scales perfect for what I'm going to use him for, for fantasy, for a monster. Um, and I might be tempted to try to put that wash on him to... Um, sort of make him look a little more realistic and a little bit less 
comic booky or cartoony, but I think just how he is is just fine. All right, so now I'm going to take some photos with him. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you'll stick around to look at those photos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I do think this is a pickup. Um, if you're into fantasy figures, if you got some Boss Fight Studio, that's probably what I'm going to shoot this guy with is some Boss Fight Studio or some Animal Warriors of the Kingdom figures, some other sort of anamorphic figures or, um, you know, knights in armor. I can kind of see this guy being the monster to those knights. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching.